Welcome to Megar's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will show you how to connect NVCT units to test current transformers. Let's get started. In the NVCT, you'll find a ground connection, a power connection, and a power switch. First things first. Find a good grounding point and connect the unit to ground using the ground connection cable provided. Remember that the ground connection should always be the first one made and the last one to be removed. Having a good ground is essential when testing current transformers in order to obtain good results. Connections are provided for the secondary side of the CT as well as for the primary side of the current transformer. A locking mechanism keeps the primary and secondary cables firmly connected on the instrument, making it impossible for them to get loose or disconnected during testing. Secondary connection cables and alligator clips which facilitate the job of connecting to a CT under test are also provided. You can see them here with the alligators connected and then with the cables connected to a 5-tap CT. Several types of spade locks are provided for connection to different relay and CT terminal blocks. And finally, primary side cables as well as alligator clips are provided for connections to the CT primary side. It is important to remember that when testing with the NPCT, most tests can be performed without changing the connections. Tests like insulation, winding resistance, excitation, ratio, and demagnetization procedures are performed concurrently without having to change the connections. The color coding and markings make the connection diagrams very easy to follow. We can see them here, uh, both on the connectors from the primary and secondary cables on the MRCT, as well as for the connectors provided for uh, the connections on the CT itself. For a two-tap current transformer, connect the X1 and X5 terminals to the X1 and X2 terminals on the current transformer, as well as the primary side terminal. Here, we see a winding resistance test, where a current is being injected into the secondary winding of the CT, the voltage is being measured, and the resistance is then calculated as the ratio of voltage and current. Ratio tests are performed injecting voltage into the secondary winding and measuring the induced voltage on the primary side. The ratio is then calculated as the ratio of the secondary to the primary voltages. For a three-tap current transformer, connect the X1 and X5 terminals to the main tap and X2 to the second tap. Similar connections apply for a 4-tap current transformer. X1 and X5 should always be connected to the main taps, X1 and X4 in this case, and the other terminals to the corresponding taps on the CT. A procedure that is sometimes necessary is the leads test, or zeroing the leads. For this, short the secondary terminals, a DC current is injected into them, and the resulting voltage drop is measured which allows us to calculate the resistance of the leads. To perform a burden test, remember to disconnect the current transformer from its load since we will be testing only the impedance connected to the secondary terminals and not the secondary wind. A current will be injecting in the load circuit and the impedance will then be measured. For the self-diagnostic test, connect X1 to H1 and X5 to H2. A ratio of 1 is expected since we are injecting the secondary voltage directly into the primary measurement units. For a primary to secondary insulation test, a voltage is applied between the windings and a leakage current is measured. The insulation resistance is then calculated using Ohm's law. For the primary to ground insulation test, a voltage is applied between primary and ground and a similar calculation takes place. The last insulation test is between secondary and ground and has a similar procedure and calculation. The voltage is applied between secondary and ground, the leakage current is measured, 
and the resistance calculated as the ratio of the voltage applied and the pressure of the voltage. To run a demagnetization procedure, simply connect to the main tabs of the current transformer and run it using the software on each. This concludes our conversation about how to connect MVCT units to perform tests on current transformers. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your link. Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn